guys welcome back to my channel okay so today this is um the tutorial on the slashed throat that i have posted on my instagram and facebook and twitter if you've seen it um to get started i am just using this ben nye nose and scar wax and just so you know this is my lovely model my mom she offered to um model for me for this because this is the first time that i've ever done anything like this so i thought it would be kind of fun um, to do together. So I'm just using the nose and scar wax to create kind of a new layer of skin for her. Um, the end result we're going to be using pieces of a mirror or glass or something like that so I want to have a nice solid layer of extra skin basically. As you can see I'm just going through and spreading that all over in the center of the neck where I want the slash part to be. Um, and these little spatula modeling knife whatever you call them that I have I have like a set of them and they're not very expensive you can get them on Amazon all of my links are going to be down below where you can get everything that I use in this tutorial um, to spread out the modeling wax it's very sticky and it heats it gets stickier the more that it comes in contact with skin and warmth so I use baby oil to kind of uh, like as a buffer to help spread that out um, for the outside edges of the slash, I'm going to be using liquid latex and like tissue paper, which I'm sure you've probably seen before. Basically what you do is you layer liquid latex and tissue paper and then liquid latex again and it kind of creates a like layer of skin. The liquid latex will dry clear, however the tissue paper will not, so you end up having to go over it with a like um, foundation color. But this works really well if you're trying to make it look like torn or zombie effect or burns. Um, this is a really great method to use and it's very inexpensive for the most part. Liquid latex is not crazy, crazy expensive. So as you can see, I just sped up um, a large part of this just so that it would go a little bit faster. Um, this definitely takes longer than 10 minutes to do. So <laughs> I didn't want you to sit here for like, you know, an hour and a half watching this video. So we just sped it up a little bit. And as you can see, I'm just going through and going all the way around and kind of maneuvering the tissue paper where I want it to go. Um, you kind of have to have a little bit of a vision of what you want this to look like before doing it. Um, and as you can see, I moved on to a bigger brush because I'm working in a bigger area. So I'm just using like a flat Sephora brush that I didn't, I wasn't super connected with <laughs> um, to use this for the liquid latex. So as you can see, I'm just going through and putting little pieces of tissue paper here and there. It's easier if you rip, if it's like a uh, two-ply type tissue paper, if you rip it in half, um, the thinner it is, the easier it is to maneuver, just so you know. So I'm just going through and kind of um, filling in some areas where you can still see parts of her skin. The nose and scar wax are very um, neutral toned, so it works really well, but I wanted to be as fake skin as possible. So as you can see, I just made kind of a little slice through the edges here, um, right in the center of her neck to kind of make it look like there was an initial cut, um, which I kind of end up changing later, but that's what we started with. So I want it to look like the skin is kind of balled up on the edges. You want to make it look as if that's deeper. Um, which, looking back at it now, I wish that I would have gone in the beginning and made that like a dark color in the center so that would have looked deeper than it is. Um, just as like a sort of afterthought. So if you were doing this, I would start out with maybe like a dark eyeshadow color underneath before going in with all of this. Um, so for this part, I'm just using my little palette knife and I'm kind of picking apart the pieces of latex, which when you do this, you'll see they are very like stiff and sticky. So you kind of want to do this when it's still a little bit on the, um, tacky side for sure. So I'm just like taking pieces of this and pulling it out. Um, these are the pieces that I decided that I wanted the skin to be ripped. So as you can see, I went into the center part again with some liquid latex and I just kind of dabbed that um, in the center so I'd be able to pull that a little bit out later. And I'm just going in with a foundation color. I think this is a Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Um, you probably don't want to use anything that's too expensive or anything like that. Um, so I was just going in with a foundation color on the edges to blend that into the neck. Um, 
and you can see you can still see where it begins and ends and if I had gone back again and think and done this I would have um, spread that out with a little bit of the liquid latex before um, finishing that up so this is just a little bit of um, scab blood which is a little bit thicker and darker than regular like vampire blood that you get like the Halloween shops which I'm going to be using later as you can see so I just kind of took that and spread it all in the center pieces and I let it drift down and now I'm just taking pieces of a mirror that yes I broke and yes I did have bad luck afterwards so maybe don't do that <laughs> um, so I just took pieces of mirror and I made sure that they weren't too sharp on the edges and I poked it into certain areas of the fake skin that I wanted and I made sure that I dripped some of the fake blood onto the pieces of the mirror because I felt like if you were to be stabbed with a bunch of shards of mirror then it wouldn't be you know clean so um, I just went through and as you can see I put those in little areas kind of stabbed it through the liquid latex um, and drip blood on it just to make it look very realistic. Um, you want the majority of the heavy blood to be where the entry points of the wounds are, so I'm just going through and doing that. Um, this is more a lot of fun than uh, anything else, so I guess if I had gone back I would have localized this to the center, but this was just so much fun. Um, and you definitely want to be careful if you plan on wearing this for Halloween or something like that, then you want to be very careful in the types of pieces that you use. I tried to use somewhat dull pieces just in case they were to slip or fall or something like that. This mirror was pretty thick and so it was um, would have been kind of difficult to hurt yourself anyway. Just as a thought, so please be very careful if you're doing this and um, I would definitely recommend if you're under 18 to have some sort of adult supervision. So I think that is it. All of my links will be down below so that you can see um, everything that I used and if you decide to purchase it for yourself then you can um, I think that's everything so thank you so so much for watching I hope this was a little bit of fun and if you decide to do this for Halloween or just for fun then please have fun with it but also be safe so thank you very very much for watching and come back later I hope to see you again soon in my next video and please subscribe bye guys Okay. Thanks, Lee. Okay, um, I can't, can't, I can't see anything. My eyes are closed. Her eyes are closed. She's, she, apparently, she's not as prepared for this as she thought she was. He's sticking shards of glass on my neck. I mean, you know, you, you tend to wince a little. That's where your skin came off. Go back on there, skin. Tragic, tragic. Hold on, wait, 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 come on.